I have a problem. I want to stay up to date with important events in the world of technology and business, but I have absolutely no time to read all the news, articles, and posts about it. I don't want to spend several hours a day reading and analyzing them, so what should I do? It seems I found a solution. Let AI do all the dirty work for me, and I'll just enjoy the results. Will it work? Or am I being overly optimistic and overestimating AI? I'll try to answer these questions over the next 48 hours, during which I'll build and launch a news aggregator and a summarizer where AI handles all the routine tasks. Let's start our project with a quick sketch of its architecture. That should make it clearer where to begin. First, we need a part that will fetch, read, and store all the news on topics I'm interested in. Since we only need the news temporarily, there's no point saving it to a database or anything like that. Keeping it in memory is enough. So for our prototype, we'll skip the database, which will significantly simplify the code and save a lot of time. The second and main part is the block that will analyze all the saved news and produce a concise summary of only the most important things to pay attention to. The key here will be AI and a well-crafted prompt. And the third part involves everything related to visualizing the result. In other words, the front end of a project. That's simple. We take the generated response from the previous part and display it in the browser. We could even add a history of previous days, which could be useful for tracking recent trends. Now, a quick overview of the tech stack that I'll be using for this project. I'll fetch, process, and store news using Python. I'll analyze the news and get the daily digest using Gemini AI. It's my favorite LLM for projects that rely on API-based AI interaction. And for the front end, I'll use my favorite JavaScript framework, Vue.js. And to avoid writing too much CSS by hand and quickly get a decent looking UI, I'll go with Bootstrap. Now, let's move on to the implementation itself. So let's start with the news sources. I'll begin with the sites I most often check for up-to-date news. TheVerge.com, VentureBeat.com, TechCrunch.com, and YCombinator.com. I'll save the URL so there are RSS feeds. I'll also add a number of other less well-known sources in the topics of tech and IT, business and economic and startups. Altogether, it came to about 60 sources. That should be enough for now. I'm saving everything into a file and formatting it as a Python list to make it easier to use. Now I'll write a script that will, for starters, simply read all the news and print the number of items to the console. We'll load the feeds asynchronously to speed up the process since we have so many sources. All right, seems like I'm done. Now I'm launching it and waiting. It looks like loading the news will take some time since we have quite a few sources. Okay, the news loaded successfully. Some errors occurred while reading certain feeds, but I'll ignore them for now. The main thing is the script didn't crash and the majority of the news was fetched. We can deal with specific problematic sources later once everything's up and running. Now let's create a function that will interact with the AI. For convenience, I'll put it in a separate file. I'll also need a config file specific to my environment, which I'll call local settings as usual. For now, it'll only contain an API key for Gemini AI, but I probably will add more stuff later. So using the Google library, I'll write a function that sends our news along with our prompt to Gemini and returns to response. Good. The prompt can be fine-tuned gradually while using the service and adjusting the output to match what we need. Now, all that's left is to write the code that ties everything together. First, it loads all the news, then sends it to the AI, and finally, saves the result to a file. Why are we saving the result to a file and not to a database? It's worth pausing here to explain this in more detail. The point isn't that such a service doesn't need a database, but rather that at this stage, to build a quick prototype, we can do without one. If the project survives, we can add it later. It's important to understand that in the early stages, the speed of validating ideas is critical. You need to find out what works and what doesn't. Code quality, cleanliness, and elegance don't matter at this point at all. In 9 out of 10 cases, this code will soon be thrown away. Either the idea won't resonate with users, or after launch, it'll become clear the initial concept needs to com change completely. Only in very rare cases, when the idea is successful and the project starts to grow, 
Should everything be rewritten properly with a solid architecture designed for the future, but not before? That's extremely important to understand. Otherwise, you'll just waste your time and energy. But let's get back to our project. By the end of day one, we already have the news loading, analysis, and result generation in place. Not bad for a single day. Since I wrote all the main back-end components yesterday, today it's time to work on the front-end. The app will be fairly simple, so one page will be enough. On the left, there will be a column with a list of reports, and the main area will display the contents of the selected report. This is the core functionality I need, so it'll be enough for now. I'm creating a new Vue.js project using Veet. I remove everything unnecessary, add the required elements to the page, and apply basic styling. The super fancy design will come later, once it's clear whether the project is worth further development. For now, it will have what I call a minimalist design. The server only needs to provide two pieces of information, a list of available reports displayed in the left column, and the contents of the reports loaded when a report is clicked. So I'll write two methods for interacting with the server. The app doesn't have any complex state, so we don't need a state manager like Penia or Vuex. Component level state will be enough. We also don't need routing right now since there's only one page. All right, looks like the front end is done too. Let's see what we've got. We have a script that reads all new sources, filters only the fresh ones, those published in the past 24 hours, and stores them in memory. Since we currently have only a few sources, temporary in-memory storage is fine. But as we scale, we'll need to store them in an external storage. After the news is collected, it's passed to a module responsible for interacting with the AI, Gemini in our case. This module forms a prompt and sends it along with the news to the AI for analysis. Once the response is returned, it's saved to a file. We also have a very small HTTP server with only two endpoints. The first one returns a list of saved files, essentially the list of reports. And the second returns the content of a specific report file and fetching the reports and displaying them to the user is handled by the front end. It's just a single page for now, but it can be easily extended if needed. All right, everything seems ready. It's time to deploy it to a server and see how it performs. As usual, Ubuntu and Nginx come to the rescue, and to avoid generating reports manually, we'll add a cron job that fetches the news, analyzes it, and generates the report. All right, I deployed the project to a subdomain of my site, opened it in a browser, and yes, looks like everything is working. I select a report, and it loads. Great, the project is live and functioning. It took me two days, or 48 hours, to complete. Now, a few of my thoughts on what will need to be changed in the project if it attracts users and starts to grow. In other words, what will need to be done after the first few hundred users have signed up? 1. Review the news sources, remove inactive ones, and add more. 2. Add a database to the system. It can be used to store both the fetched news and the AI-generated summaries. 3. Create several AI prompt variations tailored for users with different interests, along with separate results pages for each. 4. Add user accounts and introduce multiple pricing plans, a regular free plan and a pro plan with additional features such as the ability to add custom news sources, access more in-depth AI analyses, and so on. Well, that's it. Over the past 48 hours, I've built and deployed a news aggregator and summarizer where the main analysis is done by AI. The service link will be available in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. See you soon. Take care.